y'all thank y'all so much for watching today's video um if you're new to my channel my name is megan and i show you guys how to um, use programs like Canva to create printables that you can sell on Etsy or other online um, websites in order to make some passive income. So today's video is going to be a little different. Um, I'm actually switching from the last couple videos I've made about meal tracking and meal prepping um, to focusing on bill trackers, finance planners, that kind of thing. So Right now, um, I'm on the Etsy homepage. I searched Bill Tracker Printable, and if you scroll down, there are literally how many pages? Um, there are tons and tons of pages of Bill Tracker printables. Um, so these are really popular. Um, if you make a Bill Tracker printable um, and you make your listing really good, then you can definitely make a lot of money from it. There's a lot of people who will pay money to already have a tracker pre-made um, for all of their monthly bills. And a lot of people like to write out each bill they, um, they owe instead of using an app. So with all that being said, I'm gonna show you guys today how to make a bill tracker. So make sure to like today's video, subscribe below, and leave any comments you have in the comment section as I'm gonna do my best to answer any questions that y'all have. So with all of that being said, um, the first thing we need to do is go to Canva. Of course, I have Canva already open. So I'll go back to this Etsy page first and I'll take a look at some of these bestsellers right here. So let's see this. I like this build tracker because um, it's very colorful. I just like colorful things. That's me. Um, this one is pretty easy too. And then this one looks nice too. Um, stuff like this is really easy to make. So I'm actually going to show you guys how to make something kind of like this one and this one. Um, I'm not going to do it exactly like these because that would be stealing someone's work and I don't want you guys to do that. Um, and I'm not going to do that either. So let's go ahead and open up what we need to on Canva. So let's go back to this tab where Canva is. Let's create a design and we will go to custom size, change pixels to inches and we will do the standard letter size. If you are um, not in America and you use the A4 and A5 sizes, you'll just have to play around. I have those written down somewhere, but I don't really make anything A4 or A5. I just use standard letter size. So for the sake of this video, that's what we are going to stick with. So once you get those typed in, let's create a new design. And then let's zoom in a little bit. Okay. So let's see, we've got this blank slate right here. Let's go back to this Etsy page and take a look here. Okay, so we definitely need a lot of lines. So I've shown you guys how to make lines before um, in some of my previous videos. I will link the previous videos involving lines down in the description box below so that y'all can take a look at those. I'm not gonna go um, super deep into it, but in order to get some lines on this page, you'll just need to go to elements and then line, and you can use any of these lines. For the sake of this video, we're just gonna stick with this first one right here. Um, this is way too thick, in my opinion, so in order to change um, the thickness of this, just go up to this weight button and move the line weight all the way to one, and now You've got a thin line, so um, we just need to duplicate this line a couple times. So I'm going to hit Command D. I think you can hit Control D on a Windows computer, but don't quote me on that. Um, so I'm going to move that down a little bit, and then I'm going to highlight both of those lines and Command D again. And then basically I'm going to continue doing this until... I have a lot of lines and then I'm going to duplicate these last three. Okay, so now that all of my lines are here, I'm just going to left click in this white space, 
highlight all of the lines, go to position and hit tidy up. And now they are evenly spaced out. So just for a reference, I'm gonna keep going back to this Etsy tab right here. Um, let's see, so with most of these um, build tracker printables that I have taken a look at for the sake of this video, um, they do have some columns. So let's see, this one says bill, due date, payment date, and amount. Um, let's see, bill, date, amount, paid. This one's pretty simple. Um, so let's see. Let's see if we can take a look at some of these other ones. Bill, amount due, due date, payment date. Um, let's see, so I actually kind of like this one. So let's do bill, okay. So I know what I'm gonna do. I'm kind of gonna do something like this one. So let me go back to this page right here and up here at the top, I'm going to add some text. So I just go to text and click add heading. And let's see, so I'm gonna do, let's see, I'm gonna do bill and I'm gonna change this font because I don't like it. I'm in a mood for something all caps today. So I'm gonna stick with this one with Babis. I think that's how you say it. So let's see, this is gonna be bill and then I'm going to duplicate that and put amount and then I'm going to duplicate never mind not going to duplicate that <laughs> I always do that and uh, I've been using Canva for so long I shouldn't add stuff accidentally to my favorites or bookmarks or whatever but I always do anyways so going to do this one one more time and then I'm going to do this one more time so we're going to have four different categories I guess you would call it so bill amount um, let's see, due date and date paid. So I'm actually going to make these fonts a little smaller. I can already tell they're way too big. So, um, you don't have to do each one separately. If you want to change the sizes, you can just left click in this white area and drag your cursor across all four of these little words, um, these text boxes, and then you can change it from here. So I'm gonna change it, okay, that looks a little better. So let's do bill, amount, okay. So for right now, this looks good. I may have to change it, but we're gonna stick with it. So now we need some vertical lines. So to do that, um, you can either go back to elements and type in line and just add another line, or you can highlight one of the lines that's already here and you can duplicate it and then just turn it so that it's 90 degrees. And then you can just drag this bottom piece to match this, I mean, to line up with this bottom line. And then you're just gonna duplicate it, drag it over, and then duplicate it one more time and drag it over. Okay, so I'm actually gonna make one more line up here. Actually, I'll take that back. I'm gonna make two more lines. So, now that I've got two more lines, I'm just gonna highlight all of the lines and tidy them up again. And I'm gonna make these vertical lines slightly taller. Let's see. Oh, nope. Okay, and then I'm going to make another one for this outer edge right here. And then I'm going to make one more line for this outer edge on the right side. So now, let's see, I'm gonna move this text box over. 
Okay, and I'm actually going to, okay, there we go, that looks good. I'm gonna do the same thing with this. Okay, and then basically just gonna do the same thing with all of these text boxes so that they are lined up properly and then we will add some finishing touches to it. Okay, actually, I'm gonna move this over a little bit because the bill section should be longer than the amount section. So I'm going to highlight this amount text box and just use the left and right arrows on my keyboard to move that around. And then I'm going to highlight this vertical, this first vertical line and do the same thing. I'm just gonna scooch it over. Just make a couple of small changes. Um, so let's see. I'm gonna scoot this over again too. I'm gonna scoot this over. And basically I'm just gonna make this look a little better. Let's try to center that the best we can. Okay. So, I think this looks pretty good. Let me make sure that these line up at the bottom all the way. And then this one needs to go up slightly. Okay. So, and then let's move this text box over so that it's a little more centered in this top box. All right, so now that we have all the lines and all four categories that um, we want for our um, bill tracker printable all set, we just need to add something up here. Um, let's see, monthly bills, and then it's got a section for month. Um, you could do monthly bill payment tracker and then do month and year. Um, let's see, so for right now, I'm just going to go back up here to text, add a heading, and then I'm going to change it to some kind of script font. So to get to where I just was, um, you'll want to highlight whatever text box that you want to change the font for and then click inside the font name right here. And then I don't know if this is on the free version of um, Canva or not, but I know with Canva Pro, obviously these different options come up. So I'm going to type in script and here is here are all the different um script fonts um the ones that are highlighted right here or that have the crown next to them those are canva pro fonts um if you're watching this you might not have canva pro so i won't use any of the canva pro fonts but if you do want to try out canva pro for 30 days for free um, then definitely check out the link in my description box below because um, i do have an offer for y'all to try that for 30 days like i said for free um so let's see let's go to this one actually i don't like that one let's just do let's just do daydream this one looks nice all right so let's do Let's do monthly bill tracker and let's center it to the left. And then I'm going to add a heading and I don't know why it changed it to this babis because I don't have it set as my heading font. It's really odd, but anyways, so we're gonna go back up to month and I'm actually gonna put month of and then I'm going to create a box. So I'm gonna do square, I'm gonna do this one. Actually, I'm not gonna do that one. I'm just gonna do a line. So let's go to, oh, not Lynn, line and change this thickness to something pretty low and then I'm 
move this up a little bit. Okay. And there we go. So let's see how this looks. Okay. So this is the monthly build tracker that I literally just made. Um, this is the first time I've made a build tracker before. So I hope you guys could follow along and um, create a build tracker of your own. If you guys like this build tracker, then make sure to check out the link in the description box below as I um, am giving this out. So um, if you sign up for my emails, through this video, then you will get access to this um, file right here for you to print out on your own. So make sure to check that out if you do like this. Um, stay tuned for my next video because I'll be talking more about how to make some more printables on Canva um, and how to make more kind of build trackers and that kind of thing. So make sure to stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for watching if you're still watching um, to this point and I will see y'all next time.